friends, my name is Miss Amanda. I'm the new chair of the Christian Ed Committee, which means that I am in charge of making sure you're still learning even from home. The Christian Ed Committee and I got together and said, huh, what should we talk about over Lent? And then it was really easy. We talk about Lent. So I brought in an expert to help us figure out some of these important questions as we start learning. So Pastor Adam, what's Lent? Lent is the church season before Easter. It's 40 days long, and it's that time that we prepare ourselves for Easter morning. Hmm. Why is it 40 days long? Well, 40 is an important number in the Bible. It reminds us of the 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus was tempted in the wilderness. It also reminds us of the 40 years that the Israelites wandered in the wilderness looking for the promised land. Hmm. 40 days. But getting to Easter isn't 40 days. It's longer. Okay. So what, how does that work? Well, we're missing something here, really. You're missing the fact that we don't count Sundays during Lent. Why don't we count Sundays during Lent? That seems silly. Well, that's because Sundays are really a mini Easter. Mm. Every time that you come to church on Sunday morning, any time of year, it's like walking in a church on Easter morning. We're celebrating the resurrection and new life in Jesus Christ. Well, all of that sounds really important. So, we're not Jesus. What do we, people, do during Lent? Well, there's a lot of things. Tradition is that people will give something up during this time. It reminds them of what Jesus gave up for us, which was his life. Now, people will do this by giving up things like candy, or coffee, or TV, or video games. But also, recently, people have been doing something different. They've been taking something up, taking on something new, something they don't usually do. Like, they'll read the Bible every single day. Or they'll do devotionals with their family. Or they'll take on the responsibility of tithing and giving to the church more. Or they'll give their time to others at soup kitchens. Well, that's really interesting. And the rest of, rest of the Christian Ed Committee also thought so. Because we really do need to do something to help us prepare for Easter. But 40 days, that can be a really long time. So when the Christian Ed Committee and I were talking, we thought maybe it would be better if we broke it up week by week. So that means for you families, Every Sunday, you can come right to our Facebook and or our YouTube channels to see one of the Sunday School teachers describe that week's activity. So instead of doing one thing for 40 days, we're going to do one thing every week for six weeks because because there are six weeks of Lent. Now to go along with these videos, we've also emailed home a journal that will help you keep track of the things that we're doing as a big group, keep track of the things you're doing by yourself, and if you can't print one, just call the office and we'll make sure we get one printed and sent to you as quickly as we can. So today's Ash Wednesday, and we're starting this on Sunday. So let's take the next few days to get prepared to do our Lenten activities. So we'll see you on Sunday for our very first video. Bye friends.